Hello guys, so welcome back and yeah, it's good to have the team back. The team is back and yeah, it rained cats and dogs this morning and it's been raining for the past two days. So I had a meeting that was scheduled for today, but it got postponed. So I think it's a good thing that it got postponed. So now we're headed for the jungle to forage for shiitake mushrooms. Um, yeah, hopefully the rain helps and Hopefully we'll get something. Well, remember last time when we went collecting Ceylon olives? So that was right at the top of those mountains at the back. But today we're going a little bit nearer than that. So we're going somewhere here. We're going at the foothills of that mountain today. Yeah, still a long way to go. I'm not really sure if you've noticed this, but everything is so beautiful, so beautiful, so green today. And that's down to the fact that it rained, uh, you know, heavily this morning. Uh, you know, looking at everything, it feels like the rain washed the soul clean of this, you know, whole mountains. And it really feels like the rain, you know, washes not only the mountains, you know, clean. It really feels like looking at all this beautiful landscape around you. Your soul's like washed clean. It feels like that. So it's, you know, it's really good to get out once in a while, get out to the wild. And if you're someone that lives in the city or someone who might not, you know, be able to, you know, go trekking or anything, maybe you should take your time out because, you know, it, it really is a different feeling. And the best time to go trekking or best time to go to the park for me it's right after it's rained because it's so beautiful yeah I finally got some shiitake mushrooms Listen to the songs of the jungle. That is the sound of a giant barbet. Absolutely tired. Oh, the tire tiresome, right? Yeah. Mm. It's just one of those days for me where you know you feel like your whole energy has been drained out of your body. And yeah, I don't know why I'm feeling that way, but yeah, I feel terrible. I'm so tired. So completely trained now, but the good thing about this jungles is that it has energy refill station everywhere. So I'm standing right in front of this berry bush and I've got myself a handful of really, really nice Himalayan wild berries. Let's give it a taste. 
Oh, that is so sweet, so juicy, and the texture of the berry, it has a crunchy little texture to it. It's simply amazing. Nice, right? Yeah, it's sweet, nice. right? It's sweet. sweet as honey. Who wouldn't want to eat this? Mm. That is about the best berry that I have tasted. Alright, so we just came back from the first location and we couldn't get much, so we headed to another place, we headed to another location. We've sort of refilled ourselves with Malin wild berries and yeah, we're gonna go again. Let's hope we get more there. Okay, so we're near Jahanring's family's field now. It's just up there, but this is a small, you know, sort of a kitchen garden that they uh, that we uncles usually have near our fields. So they have a lot going on here. So all those little green saplings, those are paddy saplings that will be transplanted in June or July. And this plants, all these plants, small plants are king chili plants, so it'll be really nice to visit this place during the king chili season. So the reason we came all the way from that side to this place is for this particular wow. Yeah, so we came here for this mushrooms here, but it's still very very small so we can't take it. So headed back home now. It's not been a better place, right? Yeah. We didn't get much talking mushrooms, but um, been a good day so far. Had a really nice trek and completely sapped off my energy. <laughs> yeah, and had some really, really nice, sweet berries. And yeah, we'll show you how much we got. How how much. Shiitake mushrooms we got back home. All right. Whoa, we're almost home. But I've never been this tired in a long, long time. My God. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs>